Well, hello there and good morning, kids. Today is the day of the God of Thunder, Thursday. So today is Thursday, May 7th. And today, you already know, if it rains, that I really doubt it because these past days have been extremely hot. Uh, you already know who to blame. The God of Thunder, Thor. That's why we have the name named that way. You already know it. I already told you about the name. Well, the reason why uh, the days have those names and the months as well. Anyway, today, Thursday, we're going to be working with phonology and language. The work of phonology is quite easy. Uh, language eh, could be a bit complicated if you don't pay attention to the instructions that I'm going to give you. You need to pay uh, a lot of attention to the explanation of the topic of today. Understood? Good. Now, before we start, first things first, what's up? I hope you're doing great. I hope you're doing fine. And we have to get started. So let's get down to business. Let me share my screen with you. Give me one moment. And there we go. Phonology. We're going to be working with pages 23 to page 25. We're going to do three pages. You're, don't worry, I know you already are like, oh my God, three pages, relax. You're a sixth grade. You have nothing to worry about. You can do it without problems. And it's actually quite easy. So let's start with page 23, okay? I know all of you love the topic of Egypt, the pharaoh, uh, the prince, the princess, uh, the sorcerers and all this stuff. I know that all of you love when we role play this activity. And uh, Karish was the high, the high priest. And then we have the pharaoh, the prince, and the secret son, and all this stuff. And uh, the slaves, the soldiers. Uh, all of you love this kind of, of things. Remember, uh, Xavier was the, was the pharaoh. And the, the secret son was Edu. And the prince was um, Isra last year. Uh, and, and it was really, really, really fun. Uh, but yeah. This, this time we're not gonna role play because we're not at school and I'm not there to help you out with all of this activity. But um, we're gonna finish this part of knowing how to use our vocabulary correctly. So page 23, it says, using our words, circle the answer that best fills the blanks in each sentence. And you're going to be working with three, only three sentences and as you can see the three sentences have blank spaces like here the blank space there came blank space toward the campers then you need to fill with the correct words the luxurious bear came preparing towards the campers does that sound good to you course not. The mummified bird came bounding towards the campers. <coughs> Sorry, morning allergies. Uh, and thank you if you said bless you. So you have to choose the correct answer. If you, if you see what I'm doing, uh, the first word goes obviously in the first blank space. The second word after the coma goes obviously in the second blank space okay so that's how it has to be done you have to choose the correct answer you circle it and it's not necessary to write it in the spaces if you want to do it do it it would look good it would look complete but if you just circle the correct answer more than enough okay great so the number two it says the family blank space from the top floor to space the fire on the roof course it doesn't make sense because you need to complete the sentence number three the blank space stole valuable blank space from the pharaoh's tomb it's not that complicated and you're still using the vocabulary words that we have seen before in this lesson number two perfect after you finish this part we have two activities teamwork and game zone Teamwork and game zone, uh, they're not necessary to be done because you would need to do it with someone else. 
Okay, sometimes I, I let you do games on and teamwork because you can do it by yourself or you can, we can manage to somehow do it with, with ourselves. But this time the, uh, you need to change papers and you need to exchange uh, sentences with someone else and probably mom and dad are too busy to do it. Uh, they have a lot of work, so we're not going to bother them, okay? So teamwork and game zone, no, not right now. But we have to go to the next two pages. Next two pages, homeschooling, you already know how to do it. Get online, listen to the track, boom, write it down. The dictation from the uh, vocabulary of lesson two. Okay, homeschooling, you already know how to do it. Phonology report, remember mom, dad has to tick if it was excellent, very good, good, or if it needs practice, according to each of the words. And then finally, page number 25, dictation. In here, yes, mom or dad have to help you to uh, dictate the words correctly, okay? They're gonna choose the, uh, the order of the words and how to do it without any problems at all. Understood? Perfect. That is all the work from phonology, page 23 to page 25. Again, what you have to do, you have to complete the sentences using the correct words to fill in the blank spaces. That is page 23, page 24, homeschooling, page 25, uh, dictation. Boom, that's all for today. Uh, let's go to language. Language, it's going to be pages 81 and page 82. Understood? We're gonna be checking adverbs. Okay. Um, Adverbs, we have already seen them. We saw them last year in fifth grade, and we saw them in book three and book two. Okay, so this is like it says there, a review. Now, if you don't remember what is an adverb, an adverb are words, the adverbs are words that describe a verb. It's an adjective, that's why it's called adverbs. It comes from the word adjective. And then verbs, an adjective to a verb, describing a verb, adverb, okay? Uh, the adverbs are words that describe a verb. They give more information about an action by telling how it happens. To create most adverbs, we can add the suffix L why you have to add these two letters to the adverb and then voila okay well you have to add them to the adjective and then you create an adverb example adjective she sings with a beautiful voice uh beautiful is not describing how she sings Beautiful is describing her voice. The voice is beautiful. So that is an adjective. It is describing the voice. But we don't want that. We want to describe how she sings. So we're going to use beautiful and we're going to add L-Y. And it's going to be, she sings beautifully. Okay? Now, only thing we did was to add L-Y, and now you're describing how she sings. The sentences below, right here, sorry, <coughs> it's not something that I usually happens, okay? I'm, I'm sorry about the interruption. It says, she was careful when she moved the furniture. Okay, how was she careful when she did what? moving the furniture okay so we want to say that she was uh that way when she did the action so the action was moving okay she moved the furniture and we're gonna use the adjective that is describing her she moved the furniture careful and then we ask the ly carefully carefully she moved the furniture carefully. 
Number two, they are diligent when they do their homework. They do their homework. Write it down. Pay attention to what I'm showing you. They do their homework. Don't forget, we have to use the L-Y to make it into an adverb. And that's how you have to do all the exercise. Number three, it was noisy when the dogs all gather around our table. The dogs gathered around our table. You have the words right there. You just have to pay attention to the sentence. I was unhappy when I had to do my course last night. I did my course. Dan plays the book on my table in a soft way. Dan plays the book on my table. My feet hit the ground in a heavy way as I walked. I, my feet hit the ground as I walked. The little, the little girl screamed in a wild way the whole flight. The little girl screamed the whole flight. You need to pay a lot of attention to the word that you're going to be adding the suffix ly and make it into an adverb, okay? If you have doubts, you can send a message. That is page 81. Boom, boom, boom. Page 82. Adverbs, but we're going to be using them as adverbs of frequency and adverbs of time. We have saw them too before. Adverbs of frequency, we have them here. Always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never. Adverbs of time, just, still, yet, already, later, soon. What does it mean, each of them? Always, every time. Usually, most of the times. Often, many times, not that much. Sometimes, half the time. You, not like always, just half the time or less, rarely, almost never, and never, zero times, okay? Then we have adverbs of time. Just, very recently, it just happened. Still, up to and including right now. I'm gonna give you uh, examples of each in a moment. Yet, up to the present moment. Already done something time before they ask it. Later, at a general future time. You don't know when, just in general, it's going to be in the future. Soon, in a short time. Okay, I'm going to give you sentences, examples of adverbs of frequency and adverbs of time. Pay attention to them because you need to know how to use them in the exercise below. I always eat tacos. That's something that all the time I do it. I usually eat chimichangas. I do it, but not always. But it's frequently, it's most, it's most of the times, okay? I often go to uh, El Florido, let's suppose, okay? Many times. I do it repeatedly, okay, many times. Sometimes I like to eat ice cream. Not always, uh, kinda, okay? It's not like you do it all the time, like it says there half of the times or even less. It's not something that you prefer to do. I sometimes like to go out and have fun. I sometimes go and eat a hamburger, I don't know, rarely. I rarely stop reading. I love reading, so I rarely stop reading. It's something that almost never happens. And then never. I will never like to get injections. Never. I will never like to get injections. Okay? That is not going to happen. Never. <laughs> That's, you know it's true. I don't like them. Then just. Then let's go with adverse of time. I just finished my homework. It just happened very recently, not right now, but very recently, just a few minutes ago. I just, okay? I still like to watch cartoons. 
It is including the present. It's something that has been happening for a long time, and until right now, until today, that's something that still happens, okay? Yet, oh, I haven't gone to India yet. Up to this present moment, up to today, I haven't gone. All my life, I have never gone. Until today, no. So I haven't gone to India yet. Already, I have already finished my homework, mom. So can I play video games? It's something that has been done before time. Before your mom asked you to finish the homework, you already did it. I already finished my homework. Can I go, can I go and play video games? Yeah, sure, you already did it. Oh, yeah. Later. Uh, don't worry, I'll tell you later about it. You don't know when, but it's going to be in the future. And then soon. I hope this pandemic ends soon. In a short time. When? We don't know, but hopefully in a short time. Okay, that's how you use the adverbs of frequency and adverbs of time. Now, uh, we need to complete this, this exercise that is here. And it says, rewrite the sentences using one of the adverbs above. You can use adverb of time, adverb of frequency. How are you going to know? Use common sense. For example, I did it before they asked it. Before they asked it. I already did it. Okay? How are you going to know where it goes? The adverb. Usually, it's going to be Pay attention to this, okay? Person, the subject. Then we're going to have uh, the adverb. And then we're going to have the verb. Example, I already did it. It is going to be the complement. I, subject, already, adverb, verb, this, complement, it. I already did it. Number two, I'm just going to help you with this too. I go to the same flower shop every time. Every time. Which means you need to check the, the adverb of time, okay? I, following the, the, the formula that I just gave you, is going to be person, adverb, verb. Complement. I, you have to fill in the blank space, go to the same flower shop. Check it. Okay, again, subject, adverb, verb, complement. Good. I hope you're able to do it without problems. If you have problems, send a message. I'll answer it right away. Then um, here, you're supposed to work with someone, to play with someone, sadly, like I said, these kind of things of the game. So we're gonna skip them because, you know, sometimes mom, dad doesn't have the time to, to be able to do this right now, okay? If they have the time, sure, you can do it. Read it and then do it. It's not necessary to send images, uh, photos of this, okay? Now I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Kids, that's all the work for today. Uh, let's summarize what we did. Phonology, we have to complete the sentence fill, filling the blanks with the correct words of the vocabulary from lesson two. Then you have to do homeschooling and then you have to do dictation. Uh, language, adverbs, a review of adverbs. To make an adjective into an adverb, we usually add the suffix ly. Beautiful, beautifully. Strong, strongly. Slow, slowly. Okay, and then we have adverbs of time and adverbs of frequency. Always, uh, sometimes, often, never, rarely, uh, still, already, soon, and yet, for example, okay? You need to know how to use them. To use adverbs of frequency and adverbs of time correctly, most of the times we, we follow a formula. The subject goes first, then the adverb, then the verb and then the complement. I, I, 
already finished my homework. Okay, that's for example with uh, with the adverb of frequent of time uh, frequency. I always go to the same store. As you can see, the adverb uh, used in a sentence always goes before the verb. Adverbs describe the verbs. Remember, adverb comes from the word adjective verb. Adverb. It is an adjective that describes the verb, the action of the sentence. And that's pretty much it. I hope to see your work soon. I want to thank mom and dad again, whoever is with you helping you. Maybe your sister or your brother, I don't know. Uh, thank you for sending the work. I'm really happy. Being honest with you, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised because most of you have been sending the work. Uh, well, actually, all of you have been sending the work. Maybe some of you are just one day or two days behind, but uh, all of you are doing great jobs. So thank you, mom, dad. Thank you, kids, for doing this. It's not easy. It's a bit frustrating, complicated, but you're getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. So thank you so much. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Take care. Love you. Peace out. Bye-bye.